Your phone's camera is probably off right now, but are you sure that no one is looking through it? A new Android malware called Play Pretor has already infected thousands of devices. It gives hackers a live feed of your screen and even your camera. So today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how it works and the single most important thing that you can do to keep your device and your data safe. Let's not waste any time. This threat is evolving fast. It's called Play Pretor, and it's a particularly nasty type of Android malware known as a remote access Trojan, AKA a rat. And it's being operated by a Chinese based group as a quote, malware as a service, end quote. This means the folks who actually wrote the malware are renting this tool out to criminals all over the world who will then use it to target people like you and me. And their method is terrifyingly clever. So what is their main trick? They actually create a pixel perfect fake version of the Google Play Store. An example website will look something like this. So why is this so dangerous? It's because it bypasses your natural defenses. You get a text from a delivery service, a notification about a new app, or an email with a special offer. You go in and you tap that link and it looks completely legitimate. You see the app, it has five star reviews, the download count, it all looks real, but it's a trap. And the second you download that app, it's too late. So how can you avoid this? Well, you never ever want to install an app from a link that was sent to you in a text or an email. Always go directly to the Google Play Store yourself and search for the app there. And more importantly, you need to change one critical setting in order for this malware to really be dangerous. This is the most important part of the video. What you need to do is disable your phone's ability to install apps from unknown sources. So why does this work? That's because this malware almost always comes from outside of the Play Store. This setting is your single best defense it's a hard wall that stops these fake apps before they can even be installed. So here's how you do it. You take your phone, you pull up the settings app, and then you dive into the apps section. From here, look through this list and find the special app access option. Then when we get to this list, you're gonna look for an option here labeled install unknown apps and we tap into here and this is going to show you every single app that you have installed that has or does not have access to install unknown apps so the first line of defense is to go through every single one here especially your browser and your messaging apps and change this over from allowed to not allowed. If your browser is allowed to install unknown apps, then any malicious website can try to trick you into downloading a file. But by turning this off, you actually shut that door completely. If you're finding this useful, do me a favor and hit that like button. It tells YouTube that this is important information and it helps to push the video out to more people who need to see it. I'd be curious to see what your install unknown apps setting is set to on your browser. Let me know down in the comment section below. So what happens if Play Per Tour does get on your phone? It's going to ask for a very dangerous permission, accessibility services. Now, 
Why is this the master key? Accessibility services are meant to help users with disabilities by reading the screen and performing taps for them. But when malware gets this permission, it actually gets complete control of your device. It can see everything you do. It can read your passwords as you type them. It can open up your banking account, see your balance, and even start making transfers, all without you needing to interact with or confirm anything on your device. It can steal your contact list, read your two-factor authentication codes from your SMS messages, and even turn on your camera and microphone without you knowing. There is no how to stop this once it has that permission, other than a full factory data reset of your phone. That's why preventing this installation is so critical. You could try to find the malicious app, revoke its accessibility permission, or even uninstall it entirely but you would never know if that app had already installed a remote backdoor on your device before you actually were able to remove it. So your only option here would be a full factory data reset. So now you know how to lock down your phone to prevent malicious apps like Prey Pretor from ever being installed that one setting change is your best defense. There are definitely legit apps out there that require the accessibility services permission for it to work properly. And this is usually required because Android itself isn't inherently built for the feature that the app is offering. So when in doubt, use the community for guidance. Ask around before you grant some unknown app access to critical permissions like this. And I'm always here to help when I can. So reach out when you're not entirely sure of what you're installing. And as always, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you here again tomorrow on the Explaining Android channel here on YouTube.